What's up YouTube? It's your girl Shayla T and welcome back to another video. Yes, today we're going to be talking about everything breastfeeding. So we're going to be talking about how to breastfeed, the best position for breastfeeding, how to get your baby to latch on, alleviating engorgement when your breasts are engorged, and all of the necessities and pretty much everything breast milk. So let's get into it. Okay, so women have been breastfeeding since the beginning of time, okay? But just because women have been breastfeeding for a long time doesn't mean that it's something that just naturally and automatically happens like you think. So, if this, especially if this is your first time breastfeeding, you're a new mom, it's not what it's cracked up to be and people rarely talk about this. But even if you're not a new mom, I'm a mother of three and this time when I had my baby, breastfeeding was all new to me because my first one I breastfed just a little bit my second child I didn't breastfeed at all so this was the first time I was really going full force on breastfeeding okay so let's talk about getting started on the breastfeeding journey so I think a good thing for you to do is before you even leave the hospital yes if you are deciding to breastfeed you should definitely get started right away you need to start especially while you're in the hospital or if you're at home with a doula whatever if you're with a professional because sometimes it's not as easy not all babies just to latch on right away so while you're at the hospital they have lactation consultants so they that means they are specialized in everything's breastfeeding they are your breastfeeding experts. So why not get all of that knowledge and all of that help while you're still in the hospital? That's so beneficial because that's the initial kind of latching on, which we'll talk about later. And you wanna have that, you hear my baby in the back. <laughs> but you wanna have that while you're still in the hospital to get that kind of extra support newborns are really smart and they already instinctively know how to do like the sucking to get the milk out so they already know how to but what is a little tricky is what we call the latch so latching on to the nipple is usually where they have sort of a problem or can have a problem so you need to be in the right position and this may take some you may fall a little bit you may stumble you may get a little frustrated but this is the part where you need to be in the right position to have that perfect latch or to get the baby to latch on correctly okay so something that is very important when it comes to breastfeeding is holding your baby so the position that they are in when it's time to eat so um, there's plenty of positions that you can do I'm gonna just take three of my favorite um, pretty much the classic ones anyway that most people do So the first one we had is called the cradle hold so that's when you take your baby lengthwise and you are going to lay the baby across your abdomen and take one hand to cradle and support the head and the other one is going to be on the baby's bottom so I'll put a picture so that way you'll see what I'm talking about um, the second one is the football hold, which is the best one. Well, in my opinion, this is my favorite one. And the football hold is when you place the baby beside you and you lay the baby along your arm, arm and kind of guide the baby to your breast. This is especially a good one for C-section moms because you have the incision. And so kind of placing them away from the incision and doing that football hold is really ideal for c-section moms so the next one we have is the lying down which a lot of this is done at night so <laughs> you need this one too i use this one still to this day because yes i still breastfeed to this day so you are gonna lie down with your baby lay the baby beside you on your right side on the baby's left side so the baby's mouth should be at the same height or slightly lower than your nipples and then with the free hand you're going to adjust the baby's mouth towards the nipple and then with your other arm you're gonna kind of like circle around the baby again I know this sounds kind of crazy like what you're just gonna lie down and you know have them I'm gonna put a picture right there that's another one especially a good one when it's nighttime and you know you're in the bed you want to be comfy so that is the lying down okay so now we're gonna be talking about getting the baby to latch so this is so important this is a really really big one so breastfeeding can go super super smooth to, for you when you learn how to get the baby to latch latching is everything and so here's a little things that can make it helpful for you here's a, a, a good technique is you want to place your thumb and your fingers 
like so like around the areola so that's just the y'all know what that is so <laughs> you want to do that and tilt your bed your baby's head back like a little bit like slightly and you kind of can take take it and like tickle it around their lips that gets them to they kind of make that little fish little fish face <laughs> and you kind of want to scoop the breast into the mouth by placing the lower jaw it's gonna go under the lower jaw oh, this is bad example but the lower jaw is going to go first well below the nipple so that way you kind of get as much in there as you can so here's the major key you want to make sure the baby has all of the nipple in the mouth this is this is key for latching so the whole nipple should be in the mouth in about i say an inch inch and a half of the areola as well so you want to get all of that in there so that way you're not having them just latching on just to the nipple where it can become painful and so we all know that it's no shame no mommy shaming over here because again with my second child I decided to not breastfeed and we use the formula so there's no shame if you are having so much trouble or if it's something that you don't want to do for whatever reasons they have formula for your baby but breast milk is so good for your baby and especially in the beginning you have something called colostrum which is like clear little clear liquid it's not like fully the breast milk but it has so much antioxidants all the good stuff it's like a green juice for baby <laughs> no but it has all the good stuff and it's so healthy for your baby so that's just one of the benefits that you as a mom can give to them but again if you can't or choose not to there's no shame and so um i kind of want to address a little bit of some concerns because i definitely had this concern um it's, it's hard to really track whether your baby is eating enough and you can't just like want at, i mean unless you're pumping which i suggest um while you're breastfeeding you can't count the ounces so you can't just say oh it's six ounces it's four ounces you don't know so sometimes that can be kind of stressful not knowing if your baby is eating too much too little so here's kind of like a rule of thumb for me again i am not a lactation consultant i am not a professional so this is all based on my life experience but if you hear the baby drinking they're getting enough you know determining on how old the baby is if they are consistently having wet diapers that means you're doing a good job. So don't worry, I know it's hard and stressful. Like, is my baby eating enough? Cause I dealt with this, my baby was very small and I'm like, is he eating enough, it's not enough. But as long as you can hear them drinking, they're swallowing that milk. And as long as they are getting a lot of, you know, wet diapers as much as they should be, which I will leave a link below um, of a chart that's like typical, then you are fine, mama. Don't fret, relax meditate calm it's okay but i know if you are having any concerns again i'm not a professional but you definitely want to contact your child's pediatrician there is no silly or stupid question especially when it comes to your baby so if you have any concerns any questions always contact your pediatrician even if it's on the weekends or after hours they normally always have someone on call who can answer your calls okay so let's talk about engorgement so this is something that can be very painful very stressful and annoying even if you are nursing all the time you still can become engorged and engorged means that you have so much milk just racked up it gets hard it gets and it gets painful and so if that happens it's hard for a baby to latch on to a rock hard breast that's just filled with milk so a couple of things that have been helpful for me in the past and i've heard from other mamas is that for you to stay cool so you can put some ice packs on your breasts or if you don't have ice packs some frozen fruit or some frozen vegetables anything frozen french fries whatever that will work too also I've heard this one from some mamas is that you can take a warm shower so warm showers can help but it does promote like the flow so you could lose some milk and I know that's something that you don't want to do but you know if you have a lot or if you have a you know a lot pumped or stored that will work but um just be careful because you will lose milk if you take a warm shower 
and the most tried and true is pumping pumping getting rid of all that backed up excess milk that can always help alleviate but again you are experiencing anything that is just not working and you're just in too much pain always contact your doctor or go into the emergency room because it can get serious okay so we're gonna talk about a couple nursing necessities that you may need, especially before you get to the hospital, while you're at home, right after you had your baby, a few things that were helpful for me, a little things that you can pick up. We're gonna talk about it. So first of all is nursing pads. So if you are a heavy flower, you have a lot of milk like me, you, be, you leak. You be licking like a little cow everywhere. You got everything so nursing pads are just little pads that you can put into your bra that soaks up that milk so that way it's not showing through your shirt because let me tell you I had on a white shirt before and breast milk is not white so I had stains so <laughs> nursing pads are very helpful um, I got mine in bulk like a huge one I didn't need a lot because after I had the baby I didn't go many places so you can get that on Amazon or any store I got a big one it wasn't that much and it lasted forever another thing that I highly highly suggest you get and this is not a sponsor video so I don't have any interest this interest <laughs> other than yours is a nursing pillow Oh my gosh, a nursing pillow is heaven. It saved my back from a lot of back problems, especially those of us who got, you know, an epidural. I had back problems. So um, a nursing pillow is not expensive. It's a good way to protect your back and, you know, use it for breastfeeding. And last but not least, a breast pump. A breast pump will save you wonders. You can store your milk. Um, you can alleviate engorgement, like I said. A breast pump, they have manual ones, although I've never had a manual one. Um, they are like cheaper, but they have electric ones that you can just plug in, prop the bad boys, and they just get all that milk out. So a breast pump is what I highly suggest. Um, they are a little bit on this spendy side, so I would check with your health insurance. Some health insurances provide breast pumps free of charge or at a lower charge. And contact the hospital that you are having your baby at. Um, a lot of hospitals have programs set up for free breast pumps or anything um if you're already out of the hospital i'd say go on amazon or maybe if you know someone who recently had a baby who you know is not using it there's plenty of uh, inexpensive ways to try to get a breast pump just you know kind of see what you have in your area that helps moms out with breast pumps because they are on the spendy side all right so i know that I'm not a professional. I said that a million times. So again, these are just little things that work for me, things that I, you know, kind of like wanted to talk about as far as breastfeeding. Okay, so I wanna know what y'all think. Have y'all decided to breastfeed, yes or no? Even if you don't have any children, will you be breastfeeding, yes or no? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I wanna know. And don't forget to do some things for me. I need you guys to hit that subscribe button and it, become notification gang so hit that bell so anytime i upload you will be the first to know and i'm out. Hey, no, no, no.